All right, so hey, let's get into some gaming tokens today and really kind of this evolution of where the metaverse is going. We saw Facebook jump into the game and I should say into the verse. And we're going to dive into that today with a little bit more technical analysis. My name is Paul Barron. Welcome back to Tech Path. Hey, Evan, what do you think? Alluvium is looking pretty good. That's what I think. <laughs> I like it. All right, let's jump over to the first news item. Uh, Illuvium's highly anticipated crypto game, of course, has released its first trailer. If you guys did not get a chance to see this over the weekend, it's pretty fantastic. We'll show you the video in a second. But uh, it's basically one of the most popular cryptocurrencies out there when it comes to the metaverse and video game or NFT video sphere as when you look at the number, whether you're an Axie Infinity lover or you're just looking at NFT gaming in general, this is one of those that most likely is going to start to rival, at least in terms of market cap, where this might go. So lots happening there. They also have a ton of... Uh, pros here for Alluvium and I'll kind of just to give you some of the scenarios that uh, you you need to consider if you're going to invest in this. One is deep and enjoyable game mechanics, which looks really amazing. Unreal Engine, uh, Four Promises, Immersive World. When you see the video, know what I'm talking about. 100% of revenue goes back to the community. That's a big one. And then strong uh, token release strategy and room for expansion and spinoff, meaning more games. There are cons. Novice, uh, or excuse me, novice, novice development team. Uh, no genuine gameplay footage to back up the plans. Or even though we did see the actual, you know, trailer this weekend, and I, and of course, Alluvium stock or stock, the price actually responded to it. And then of course, pitches based on concept art. That was the other thing. I think that's kind of not a con anymore because they're actually doing something. And then the game uh, delay is most likely going to happen if they stay on track this would change everything. And I think that's going to be the thing. Quickly, when you look at the chart, and we've talked about this before on our channel, is early when we looked at Alluvium, looking at it, uh, well, I think it was around maybe four or $500 at the time, looking at it as a buy. And of course, now it's trading at a dollar, or excuse me, $1,029 uh, for sure. And if you look at where the last score of sentiment came in, which is on this little bit of a dip right here on October 27th, sentiment was 7109 amplification 7201, which usually indicates an upward trend, which is exactly what we're seeing. However, I want to see what Market Cipher says about this. What do you think, Evan? All right, so on the uh, the 10 hour here, you can see on Market Cipher, um, you see on below on Market Cipher B, let's zoom in. So we have the VWAP coming up right here. It's about to print. What's going to happen is a green dot. Green obviously means mm -hmm. it's going to go up. So you probably have a repeat of something like this, some type of uh, situation here. We go up now. Let's look at Market Cipher A, where the you know the candles are, and it would probably be kind of a similar space here. You know, we had a high wick up here. It's kind of subject to interpretation, but I would say it's probably you know, some type of scenario from like here to here. About twenty percent would be doable place. We're at a thousand right now. That'd be about twelve hundred. And now you yeah. can see up our at our uh, fib level. So if you wanted to draw this fib level, it would be uh, top to bottom from there, and then you have the two point 618, we could zoom in, 2.618 FIB level at 1245. I think that's a great place to take pro par at least partial profits if you're trying to buy right now. Um, I might pick this up. I currently only have uh, Veracity for the gaming tokens. but So let me get this right. The FIB level is at 1245. We're mm -hmm. seeing that kind of, so there's the potential upside for this in the short run. This is, uh, this is so fantastic because when you look at, at the sentiment chart, our FIB level, or not our FIB level, our high level on this is around 1231. So literally within $10 close, of yeah. where that FIB level is running. So with that being the case, in activity like this, because we've seen, obviously we've seen a lot of movement with what's happened with Facebook saying, hey, we're entering the metaverse. We are mm -hmm. seeing all these NFT games pump over the last few days. Sandbox went off the chain. We saw Mana, which is the central yep. land, go off the chain. And then we've seen things like Alluvium continue to see a pretty significant continued growth when you look at back just a short period of time ago on the 20, yeah, here we are on the 27th mm. of, of October, you could have purchased Alluvium for right at 824. So big movement in the NFT space. Uh, Evan, when you look at this, is it harder to, I, I know you'd need more of these bigger cap like an Axie or something like that to really look at where market cipher can help you. Do you mm -hmm. find 
low caps are effective enough to watch on market cipher or not it depends sometimes it works perfectly sometimes not so much i mean from what i'm seeing on this one i'd say there's more likely than not we do continue to go up from what i'm seeing from my experience with it this does look very good but obviously you know the lower the cap for anything the more risky right. it's going to be let's be real uh, there's a lot of gaming tokens going to the moon right now yeah long term probably the majority of these are going to not stand the test of time. <laughs> yeah, these are definitely, and just so you guys know, we'll do these uh, these market movers and kind of this whole idea behind a market mover is straightforward. We'll do some analysis, not investment advice. The key here is to get you guys aware of some of these projects and hopefully it's going to get you on the right direction in terms of your own research and getting out there. But if you are into gaming tokens, we covered a lot here on the channel, mainly more out of passion and understanding what's happening in the space. The likelihood is that this is a short-term run, but it will be one of those scenarios where we'll see maybe some long-term opportunity, like an Axie Infinity, mm -hmm. which I saw somewhere on uh, this new Vortex chart where they were looking at uh, 15 or 20 coins to hold during the bear market, and Axie was on the list. Interesting. So for, uh, for a gaming token to be in there, I mean, with the yeah. likes of, you know, obviously Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano was on the list, et yeah. cetera. So kind of interesting to see these. Just to give you guys a look at this art and this, uh, this content, I mean, it's absolutely stunning. And I want to play a little bit of their video because uh, this is one of those things. Let me jump forward there just a little bit. This is their trailer, which, as you can see, is uh, pretty fantastic. This was released over the weekend, and it shot up. Uh, we saw a lot of movement going up on the token immediately. And again, this was the first time that there had seen any kind of gameplay assets. This wasn't clearly gameplay, but these were assets uh, most likely coming from the game. But you can kind of see the creatures involved, obviously the Explorer. You can kind of see the art that they've really spent a ton of time on graphics. So the team is definitely on point. And the likelihood is we'll probably see a large amount of new investment coming into this project mm -hmm. as things get rolling. So it's gonna be fun to watch this one go. And and I think this also starts to pave the way for other potential games like this. Do you have an NFT uh, portfolio yet? Do I have an NFT? I have one NFT that somebody sent me for free um, <laughs> back when they first came out. It's worth about $300 right now. So <laughs> <laughs> not gonna sell it, <laughs> Diamond Hands. Just hang, hang on yeah. to it as they go. Well, that's going to be a fun thing is I think as especially from these in-game rewards and like what you get with Smooth Love Potion through Axie mm -hmm. Infinity, just the game rewards themselves, I think we're starting to see a lot of movement in that particular case. But for you guys, if you look at these for short-term or long-term investments, I think the key here is going to be able to do two things. One, you need to really dive into the project itself, mm -hmm. know what it does, just like any of the projects out there really you should be doing. And the number two thing is look at the team and the investors. Yeah. Yeah, big time. Which is great for Alluvium because we've seen, obviously, their a tremendous investment crop, but also a very seasoned team in terms of the development, which you can kind of tell now with the way it's uh, panning out. But I like your chart there. It looks like this thing could really fly up to around 1,200, which would be an absolute purchase right now. I might get in on it. Yeah, I might get yeah. in on it. Might be a nice little uh, buy. Yeah. All right, you guys are tuned in over on the podcast, of course. Thanks so much for listening in. We love all the subscriptions and subs over on Spotify. Actually, it's a follow over there. And thanks again for all the uh, kudos on iTunes. Thank you so much for those. Of course, if you want to check out these analysis tools and some of the charts that we're really revealing here on the show, you got to jump over here to YouTube, subscribe to the channel, and it's going to give you guys updates when we go live, things like that, as well as being able to jump into the thing we call the Diamond Circle simple, easy to get into, and absolutely free. We do a couple of drops. We actually have a drop coming tomorrow at 3 p.m. We're going to do a live stream, so you, get, you want to definitely be ready and signed in by then. We'll update the Diamond Circle list and be able to give away some assets, uh, digital crypto. Who knows what we're going to give away tomorrow, but it's going to be fun. And of course, if you want to hit me up, it's at Paul Barron on Twitter. We'll see you next time right here on TechBack.